everyone, this is Nessa Ritchie and today we're going to be talking about how to set up your wordpress.org website on Bluehost. So in this video, I'm basically going to be talking about all the steps that you need to cover. That's how to sign up for Bluehost, you know, which plan you should choose for your hosting package, how to register your domain name, and also how you go about installing WordPress on Bluehost. Now, I went ahead and uh, did the blog post on how to start a blogger website, uh, step three, which would have been choosing a hosting provider. Now, in this post, I went ahead and just basically gave general information as to what you would need to select the host of your choice. So there are certain things that you want to consider, such as speed, reliability, and security. Now, you have to remember that the type of hosting option you choose has to suit your needs so uh, like i was saying in the blog post shared hosting is recommended for beginners and um, your hosting provider will also increase your seo and conversion especially if you're promoting a product or service for those of you who don't know seo means search engine optimization now also, you would want to choose a hosting plan, which is very cost effective, especially if you're working with a budget. There are quite a lot of benefits when you sign up with Bluehost. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below for anyone that's interested in getting started with Bluehost. You can just click on the link and follow the steps that I'll be providing to you in this video. Now, some of the benefits that you'll be receiving when you sign up for Bluehost using the link below is that not only are you going to be signing up for the best web hosting provider, but you're also getting a discount. So you'd actually be paying $3.95 per month. You'll get a free domain. There are free site builders included. It's just a one-click WordPress install, and there's also 24-7 customer support so all of these are benefits that you'll be receiving once you sign up for bluehost you know because bluehost is such a wonderful and popular web host provider you know they actually power over 2 million websites worldwide this is the number one recommended hosting provider by wordpress there's also a 30-day money-back guarantee where if you don't like the service, you can actually um, cancel and get a refund within 30 days of you signing up. You also get the opportunity to leverage advertising offers from Google, Bing, and other sites that will allow you to grow your business. So this is indeed an amazing opportunity. Not only that, but being a part of Bluehost will increase your SEO because of the speed, reliability, and security that Bluehost has provided over the years. And you do also get the option to become an affiliate of Bluehost, where, like myself, I'm leaving a link in the description below. If you click on that link and make a purchase, I will get a small commission. Once you become a member of Bluehost, you also get the opportunity to become an affiliate. You get your own unique link. And you can also earn commission by promoting Bluehost on your website or like I'm doing, promote it through your YouTube videos. Now, I've already signed up for Bluehost using my website, expressivelifestyle.com. So I'm just going to be showing you how it's done for demonstration purposes. So to get started, just click on the big green button that says get started now. And this will actually take us to the section for us to choose which plan we would want to use. Now, I just recommend going ahead and selecting the basic plan, seeing that you're just getting started and you'll only be using one website for the time being. Now, it shows what you'll be getting with this basic plan, so you can spend a little bit more time on that. But just in the interest of time, we're going to select on the basic plan. Once you do that, it will give you the option to sign up for your free domain name, or if you already have a domain, you can then use it in the section where it says, I have a domain name. So I'm just gonna use one of the domains that I already have, 
which is iltoabundance.com. It's always recommended when you're getting started out to use the .com as your website name. So once you enter your domain name, you would just click on next. It's available, of course, because I own it. So it's just going to go ahead and allow me to sign up. Now, in this section, this is where you would create your account. You'd enter all your information and uh, payment details in this section. This is also where you're going to select the type of plan that you want to use. So it will give you the option to choose your package information. Now, with Bluehost, there are additional add-ons. What I recommend for the time being is to just uncheck those as you can always add it on at a later time so I'm gonna uncheck these and then you can select the plan that you want now it's automatically set to 36 months so you can change it if you'd like or you can leave it at 36 months based on the amount of information and, and traffic that I'm predicting for my site I'm going to go ahead and use the basic 12 month plan because I'll probably have to upgrade in the near future. So I'm just going to use it for the 12 months for now. And as you can see, it shows you your savings and your total, right? So you would then go ahead and fill out all the information. Once you filled out your information and payment details, um, you would just go ahead and click on the option that says you've read and agree to the terms and conditions. Of course, it's recommended that you do actually read them before you go ahead and sign up. So once you've done that, you would just go ahead and click submit and it will take you to the page for you to complete the creation of your account, which I'm gonna show you because I had pre-recorded when I had initially done the sign up for expressivelifestyle.com. So once you've successfully signed up, you'll get a page that says congratulations and uh, it will give you the option to do an additional add-on. For me, I just went ahead and clicked on no thanks. And then it will actually give you the option to now create your password. So you should get a confirmation email to the email address that you used. And you just go ahead and create the password of your choice. Ensure that it's one that you remember because you'll need it to access your account. So once you've actually successfully created your password, then you'll get the option to log in. And this is where you'll be able to choose the wordpress.org theme that you want to use now there are a lot of options so this might take a little time i definitely had to like push pause and think about what i really wanted my website to look like because all of these themes actually look pretty awesome and it was a bit challenging to make a selection but i went ahead with hitmag just because i liked how it looked and it's basically going to come down to what you really like because building a website is bringing out your personality and um, bringing your message across so you can just select the one of your choice once you select it it will start setting up wordpress for you so it's literally a one-click setup all right so once it's finished you can just go ahead and click on start building and once you've done that, you'd actually be able to make, you know, the little tweaks and changes to your website. And this is really amazing when you're using WordPress.org because you get to put your personality into it. So that's how you'd know that it's WordPress.org. And then you'll, of course, see all the different options that you'll be able to use to edit your site. Everything that you would need. And whatever isn't there, there's most likely a plugin for that. Now I'm going to select on personal because it's like a personal blog brand. But if you want to choose business, again, it's all up to you and what you're doing. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and enter my site name and site description. Once you do that, it will ask you to launch your site. And I'm basically going to say yes. So it will, what it's doing right now is giving me the layout option for my homepage. So I think I like the static homepage better just because of how it looks. So that's the reason I selected that one. So that's the one that I'm going to go with. You also get the option to build a contact us page, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then it's basically going to ask you to increase security and all of that. So you can either go ahead and connect to wordpress.com or you can say not now. It's now going to give you the option to set up your website and you can customize your website from there. So this is pretty much what it looks like when you just install WordPress on Bluehost. But then, of course, you will go ahead and set up your website to your liking. And I've already showed you guys how the my website looks. So this is how it looks. Just a quick preview so that you can see what I've done so far. So using WordPress.org on Bluehost really makes creating your website and blog very fun and interesting it's really a good learning experience so i would definitely definitely recommend if you're creating a website or a blog use bluehost as your hosting provider and definitely use wordpress.org as your blogging platform well that's basically it on how to set up your wordpress.org website on Bluehost. So this video, I just basically covered how to sign up for Bluehost, choosing the hosting package, registering your domain, and installing wordpress.org on your Bluehost platform. So again, I will be leaving a link in the description for you to get started in setting up your website with Bluehost and if you use wordpress.org again you will be getting a discounted pricing the benefits are really really amazing so i would recommend you get started right away so i'll also leave a link to the blog post that i did on how to choose your blogging platform as well as choosing the best hosting provider so if you found the video valuable if you liked it remember to give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe for more tutorials that i will be doing for you guys thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day wow.